Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakahwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful let Aki am out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do so he can wake up and seal. The elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. It's Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And this time, I want to go into the video, a video on uh, the complete domination of you heathen nations, man. Because this is what Yahweh Shah is, is coming with. He's coming to completely dominate you heathen nations, man, and put you under his foot. And it's all according to the will of the Lord. This false narrative of, of the one you ignorantly call Jesus Christ that you've learned in these churches, about him coming to love all people and he's coming to gather all people unto himself and everybody's going to live in harmony and be on the same level. No, man. Yahweh Shah is coming to establish an order in the earth. And the top of that order is who? Yahweh Shah and the nation of Israel, man. This is what the Lord is coming to do. He's coming to completely dominate you heathen nations, man. So we're going to start right here in Psalm 110 and 1. Says what? It's Psalm of David. Yahweh said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So King David is prophesying of who? Of our Lord Yahweh Shah. Because that's what he is right now. Until everything that the Most High said comes to pass, then eventually the Lord Yahweh Shah is going to show up to do what? Make his enemies his footstool. Meaning reign over you. Meaning you're going to be under his foot, being dominated. You see? By the only begotten son of, of the heavenly father, Yahweh. It says what? Verse 2. Yahweh shall send the, the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. And that's exactly what the Lord Yahweh shall is coming to do. And how do, we, and who, and how do we know who our enemies are? You can go to Psalms 83. And it gives you a rundown of who the, the enemies are. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shahar. The enemies of our Lord Yahweh Shah, the enemies of the nation of Israel can be found in, in Psalms 83. And it begins with who? The Edomites, the so called white people, beginning with their elites. You see that? All of those nations that you read about in Psalms 83, go read it. Yahweh Shah is going to put you underfoot when he returns, man. Why? Because it's the will of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Three says what? Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. And that goes on what? And all this shit talking that you got uh, Israel doing, two thirds of our people, they're following in the ways of the heathen, wanting to be like the heathen. You see, talking shit against the men of the Lord who, who are coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Once that power is made known in the earth, you see, by the heavenly Father Yahweh, they're going to be wanting to get down. When they see Yahweh Shah return, and, and, and great power and glory as he's told us he's going to do according to the will of the heavenly father Yahweh they are going to want to get down but it's going to be too late all that scoffing mocking shit talking against the prophets of the Lord who have done nothing but come and bring you the message of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to stop in that day man once Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah starts to show his true power in the earth Psalms 110 and 3 Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. And the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. Going back into that power that we had in the beginning. When we were first created. Going back to that state of being the Alahayim. That power is going to be put on display. Because we're entering into what? The climax of the Heavenly Father Yahweh's movie, man. Where it's going to be action packed. You see, non-stop action until the end. You're going to see the men of the Lord get spiritual power. 
You're going to see our Lord Yahweh Shah return on the chariots. You're going to see the, the skies flooded with chariots, nuclear missiles going off, great destruction taking place. Judgment is coming, man. You see? Leviathan going to be running rampant in the earth. <laughs> you see that? It's about to be crazy out here. All these things Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to do. Why? For his name to be glorified in the earth, man. Verse 4 says what? Yahweh have sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. And that's what our Lord Yahweh Shah is. He, he's our high priest in the heavens. He's our mediator. He's like he told us in John that what? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You see, he's, he's, he's in that same position that the high priest was in on the earth. We couldn't go directly to the, uh, to the Most High. The high priest had to go. But now we have a high priest in the heavens that takes our prayers before Yahweh, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father Yahweh and, burn, and, burns our, our, and our prayers burn the sweet-smelling incense on the altar in the heavens, man. Yahweh Shai is doing that. Right now. Right now he's doing that in the heavens. You see? Verse 5 says what? The Lord at thy right hand the Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. Meaning what? He's coming to take all power, authority, and dominion away from you heathen nations, man. Beginning with you Edomites. He's coming to take you down in great wrath according to the will of the heavenly father, Yahweh. This is what's about to take place on the earth. All these plots and these schemes and you see all these wicked devices that the heathen said, no, beginning with the Edomites, Yahweh Shah is coming to dismantle it and demolish it, man. And establish a kingdom where and dwell of righteousness, as it is written, according to the will of the Heavenly Father, as he spoke it. You see? Verse 6 says, well, he shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. Yahweh Shah is coming to make a great slaughter in the earth, man. And he even told you that out of his own mouth. Let's get it real quick. Matthew 24. So like you. Matthew 10 and 34. It says what? Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. Why? Because it's prophecy. It's what the Most High has ordained him to do. Come back to cast judgment in the earth, man. You see? King David prophesied of it. Yahweh Shai even told you out of his own mouth what he's coming to do. And you can also get it out of the mouth of Isaiah, man. 66, verse 15. This is what's about to happen. This is about to go down, man. All these wicked ass, perverse people in this earth, Yahweh Shai is coming to lay you down, man. You see? Isaiah 66 and 15. Matter of fact, Jeremiah. 32 real quick let's see if i can find it because i might have it backwards oh man Twenty-five and thirty-two. I always get it backwards. Salaki. So like Jeremiah twenty-five and thirty-two says what? Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shav host. Behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. What is this talking about? This is talking about the second coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah. Coming back on that great chariot, that great so-called UFO. You see? To judge the world, man. Bad times are coming. 33 says what? And the slain of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you see, which is going to be done by way of Yahweh Shai, it says what? Shall be at that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered, nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. Bodies on top of bodies on top of bodies. Yahweh Shai is coming to lay shit's He's coming to lay shit flat. Got all these niggas in the earth talking about they're a big step. You ain't, hey, the biggest step is about to come, man. You see? 
All these niggas in the earth talking about they sliding this and they sliding that. Hey, the true slaughter about to come. The true slaughter about to come make a great slaughter. That's what he coming to do, man. This is what he's coming to do. Heathen and, and, and two-third Israelites alike. He's coming to lay you flat with the ground, man. Let's go back to uh, Isaiah 66 and 15. It says what? For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Do you hear that? This is how the Lord Yahweh Shah is returning, man. Verse 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Precepts and what we just read in Jeremiah 25 and what we just got out of Psalms 110. Let's go back to that. Psalms 110 and 5, it says what? The Lord at thy right hand, the Lord Yahweh Shai, is at the hand, right hand of the Most High right now. And, and it's evident, it's, uh, uh, evidence and proof when you go read Acts chapter 7. You see, Stephen saw the Lord Yahweh Shai standing at the right hand of the Most High while he was being stoned, man. So Psalms 110 and 5 says what? Look, the Lord at thy right hand shall strike through many kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. Yahweh Shah is coming back to do work. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. You see that? He's coming back to cast great judgment because what? He's about to take over the earth, man. He's about to come sit on the throne that he has earned. You see? As the as the, as the supreme king in righteousness on the earth, man. Sitting upon the throne of, uh, of our King David as the heavenly father Yahweh has said. And for that to be done, what does he have to do? He has to go forth conquering. And to conquer, as it tells you in Revelation 6, man. Revelation 6 and 1, it says what? And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, which, re which is representative of that what? Chariot. White represents pure. Horse represents power. Pure power. This is how Yahweh Shah is returning. Because what has been given unto him, as he told us in Matthew 28, all power in heaven and earth has been given unto him. And he also told us in Luke that what? The heavenly father has given him power over all flesh. Yahweh Shah is in control right now. And it's going to be fully fulfilled once he comes back to this earth, man. So Revelation 6 and 2 says what? I saw and behold a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow. And a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. Why? Because he has to take the power from you heathen nations, beginning with you Edomites. Because if his throne is going to be established in the earth forevermore, there could be no resistance. There could be no one to fight against. They, hey, it's only going to be one, uh, one throne, man. Or one nation to rule. Ain't going to be no, no sharing power in the kingdom of heaven. No. The Israelites are going to reign supreme over all. And Yahweh Shah is going to reign supreme over us. But for that to happen, he has to come do what? Make war with you heathen nations. To take all power away from you. To make you what? His footstool. As it is written. Revelation, 20, uh, Revelation 19, man. Start at 11. And I saw heaven opened. And behold, a white horse. He's seeing the same vision of Yahweh Shah returning. He's on that what white horse representing that gigantic UFO, which is going to block out the lights of heaven. It's going to cover the entire sky. That's how gigantic is it, it is. So I say, it's what every eye shall see him. You see that? It ain't going to be something like the Christian church tell he's going to come as a he going to come in the middle of the night and steal away the elect. No, Yahweh Shah is going to make a grand entrance. You're going to know when he returns, man. So what? Revelation 19 and 11 says what? 
And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon it was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Yahweh Shah is on a campaign to completely dominate the earth in righteousness, man. According to the will of the Heavenly Father. According to what the Most High promised him. That he would sit upon the throne of his father David. And what does the throne of David consist of? Going through the earth and conquering you heathen nations. And this is what Yahweh Shah is coming to do. And it's going to be flawless. Verse 12 says what? His eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. Why? Because he's coming back to take all rulership, power, and authority away from you heathen nations. Once again, beginning with you Edomites. Because you're the ruling nation in the earth right now. You see? And directly, and, and as soon as Esau goes down, what happens? The kingdom of heaven comes into power. Or comes into play. Or is established. As it tells you according to prophecy. Esau is the end of the world or age. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And Yahweh Shah is going to spearhead it. It says what? And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself going into his rank. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the word of the Most High. His vesture is dipped in blood and that's symbolic of what? The great slaughter that he's coming to, com <laughs> that he's coming to commit in the earth, man. Yahweh Shah coming to fuck shit up, man. That's why, like, as we grow in this truth, as we grow in this wisdom, not to understanding, shit starts to phase us less because we know that we're going to be avenged by our brother, man. All this shit talking, all this stuff that people try to do against us, man. All the petty bullshit that we go through in our, on our daily, uh, in our daily life. Yeah, how is coming to handle it? You see, so that's why we don't got to get out of character, man. We ain't got to start trying to act on our own and take vengeance of ourselves. As the Lord told you, what he said, what did he say? Vengeance is mine, save the Lord, I will repay all we got to do is sit back because he also told us what if anyone offends one of these little ones it was it was better for him to do what tie a millstone about his neck and cast himself into the sea so be offended let yeah let these people offend you don't get out of character know that Yahweh Shah is coming to put a hey, he's coming to put it down man because he has what he has care for his elect and Lord willing we be a part of that number you see, our Lord is coming to avenge us, man. Of all of our enemies, including two-thirds of Israel. Including two-thirds of our own people. He's coming to save us, man. But for that to happen, war must be made. Verse 14 says what? And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, which are the chariots, the angels in the chariots. You see, because the, the skies are going to be flooded with so-called UFOs, man. Remember where you heard it at. You heard it from the men of the Lord first and foremost. We're telling you what these vehicles actually are. These are the heavenly chariots of the heaven, uh, uh, of Yahweh, the heavenly father Yahweh. They're not aliens. They're not little green men or little gray men as, the, as Hollywood has portrayed them. You see, according to Esau's witchcraft, no. These are angelic beings driving these vehicles. You see? And they're coming to fight on our behalf. To make war against the enemies of Israel. To make war against the uh, 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 the enemies of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, man. So Revelation 19 and, four, uh, 19 and 14 says what? And the armies which were in heaven followed them upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword. That with it he, shall, he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And this goes to show that... Yahweh Shai ain't coming to bring all nations together as one As they tell you in the Christian church According to those false doctrines that they taught you Because when you go into this word for rod He said he's coming to rule the heathen nations with the rod of iron, right? So when you go into this word rob, uh, 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 rod In the Greek, it's rabdos Or rabdos Strong's G, 4464 Rabdos Rabdos Let's get to the, to the con uh, uh, how it's used in the context Definition B, when applied to kings, with a rod of iron indicates the severest, most rigorous rule. And this is how Yahweh Shah is coming back to the earth, man, to put you heathen nations in subjection, as it tells you through all throughout the prophecies. So that cuts the bullshit of, uh, of everybody being brought together as one on the uh, so-called Jesus Christ. No, man. Yahweh Shah, the, the true Messiah of the Bible, the true only begotten son of the Most High. 
a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, is coming to put all the enemies of his nation underfoot. You see? And we're going to rule over you with the most rigorous rule, man. As is written all through our prophecy. Hell, you even find that written in our law. That you heathen nations, according to our law, you heathen nations are supposed to be our bond men and bond women. And if Yahweh is coming to rule in righteousness, according to the things that are written in the law, that has to happen. And it will happen. According to the laws of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you heathen nations are our bond men and bond women forevermore. Some that we're going to pass down to our, to our children from generation to generation, just like you've done unto us. You see? So it goes on to say, And he shall tread the wine, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the Almighty Power. And he have on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Do you hear that? He's coming back to lay it down. To strip all power that you heathen nations have been given from our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. You see that? Everything that the Most High gave you to fulfill prophecy is about to be taken away from you. And the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, you see, led by Yahweh Shah is about to come to pass, man. So this is what's about to happen. A campaign of complete dominance. According to what's written, man. According to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And our Lord Yahweh Shah is going to see that it comes to pass because what is it? What is his meat? His meat is to do what? To do the will of him that sent him. And it shall be fulfilled, man. As it is written, thus said Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful let I came out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity doing the work as Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba.